Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to another YouTube video. Uh, in today's video, I want to show you a simple setting in YouTube. Uh, if you're uploading videos that you don't want to necessarily go out to your feed of subscribers and you might be wondering, wait a second, why would I want a video uploaded that doesn't go to my subscribers? Well, for example, if you are in a niche say you're in the gaming niche and you're uploading a video that does not pertain to gaming, but you think it could help a different niche, but you still want to upload it to your channel to get like ad revenue, say you're monetized, you wanna get the ad revenue from the video, but you don't want to send it out to your subscribers because they're not subscribed to you for anything but gaming. It's, it's literally my niche is gaming, but I uploaded a tutorial uh, right here actually, how to edit YouTube shorts using CapCut and it was just a simple tutorial on how I edit a YouTube short using CapCut. It's not related to gaming. Uh, I do happen to be editing a gaming related video, but here are the settings and I wanna show you guys the exact setting that I turned on. So I just clicked in on my video and if I just scroll down, I click show more and I keep scrolling down past the tags right to, actually it's, yeah, past the tags right here. It says, publish to subscriptions feed and notify subscribers. That is defaulted to a check mark. What I did is I unchecked that setting because for this tutorial, I didn't want it going out to my gaming subscribers. I didn't want my gaming subscribers getting a tutorial that they probably don't need to see. And what this does is, you, you might be thinking, well, how does this get you more watch time? Well, it gets you more watch time in a good way because the people that will be clicking on your video will be people that are in need of that exact tutorial. And if they're in need of that exact tutorial, they're going to watch more of your video. Therefore, the analytics for your video are going to be better because if somebody in your subscription feed sees, oh, I uploaded, but that video, like they click on the video and then it's like, oh wait, this is not a gaming video. I'm just gonna click off instead. Because it's one of your gaming subscribers that clicks on a non-gaming video, they see it, they're like, okay, they watch for five seconds, they're like, nope, this is not what I'm looking for. They go watch something else. That's not gonna help your analytics whatsoever. So uh, that's why this setting is so important. That's why it's so important to, let me just make sure you guys can see this. Uh, yeah, okay, right here. Yeah, publish to subscriptions feed and notify subscribers. I'm not sure if you guys could see that the first time. Hopefully you can see it now. Um, just uncheck this if you have a video that's not in your niche because it's only going to hurt you if you upload it and your subscribers, it's not a typical video for your subscribers because those subscribers are going to click on a video that you uploaded because they see that you uploaded it but you're, you don't want them to because it's, it doesn't pertain to what they're looking for. They're subscribed to you for a reason, and if you're uploading a video that is not related, related to that reason that they're subscribed to you, you don't want to push that to your subscribers' feeds because every analytic is gonna go down. If they, first of all, if they, even, if they don't click on your video, that's justified because they are looking for gaming content, and who's gonna click on a tutorial video when they're looking for gaming content, for example? I hope this guys help. I hope this helps you out, guys, because this is a game changer for me. Because if we look at the analytics, if we look at the analytics for this video, I, I mean, it's just incredible. I mean, here is the views. I'm getting more views than usual. It started out kind of slow because YouTube was still testing out the the uh, the analytics for these first ten views, and they realized, oh, this guy uploaded a, a video that people who are looking for this type of tutorial it's good. So then when people search for it, YouTube's like, hey, fam, here you go. Watch this video. It, it's getting us watch time. I've gotten over an hour of watch time, like 1.3 hours, 86 views, plus one subscriber, and six cents of revenue from this video. Here is the uh, average view duration. Uh, obviously not great uh, when it comes to retention, but it is a short video. Um, people are probably skipping around on the video because they're looking for something specific. But I mean, yeah, it, it, it's just these these analytics, as you can see, they're outperforming my usual videos. 
they are. And uh, it's really cool to see. Um, so yeah, let's let's take a look at the reach. Traffic source, sources here, 68% from YouTube search. That's good uh, because this video is intended for YouTube search. I want to see my... Where is my engagement? Um, let's see. I think average view duration is a little less than a minute. So obviously the stats aren't great, right? But they're doing, like for this video, they're, they're good. 70% of the traffic is from, uh, in the last 48 hours is from YouTube search. This video is designed for YouTube search. Uh, because it's a, it's a tutorial. It's not going out to my subscribers. I don't want it to because it's a specific niche tutorial that's going to help specific people search for a specific type of video. And so that's why also I recommend you look at your tags. If you go to the details, I, I recommend if you do a tutorial type video that you look at your tags and you actually make your tags, you know, good. Here are some examples like how to create YouTube shorts, how to make shorts. How to edit YouTube Shorts using CapCut. Uh, CapCut, you know, stuff related to what I think people would search for. So I hope this guy, I hope this video helps you out, guys. It it certainly is eye opening to me. I did not expect to get eighty something views in about two or three days from this video. Uh, this will probably get thousands of views, likely. Um, so I might make a follow up to this somewhere down the road. But hopefully this helps you out. If it does, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And hopefully this is eye-opening to you because it was eye-opening to me. With that being said, guys, I will see you in future videos. Take care. Peace.